Silverstone, a fine weekend and a fairly substantial crowd for this MCN Superbike Challenge weekend. But the first race on the programme, in fact, the Super Teen Challenge. This is the series, remember, that is founded to search for Grand Prix stars of the future and is doing a fairly good job. A faller on the start line as the grid gets away. But watch this man coming towards us now. Number four is Richard Wynn, the championship leader at the moment. Four second places in five outings and consistency very much the secret of his success. Fallers already. That's Gary Walker, number 33. And he's not very happy about that, Gary Walker. And down at the hairpin as well, Paul Randall, number 36, on his knees, and the rest of the pack go by and miss him. Marshall's get him off the track, and his bike's on the move as well. Just a quick dab of cement dust, and away they go. Wynn coming towards us. 81 points in the lead of the series. Callum Ramsey up to second place on 72 after a good win at the previous round at Knock Hill. Win coming towards us behind that rocky reed. Phil Reed's son, 18, is Damian Bailey. Then it's Callum Ramsey, number 60. And behind that, looking for number 45, Simon Stafford, and then Brian Muffet, number 69. But Win, who was so much quicker than everyone else in practice, a dominant pole position now galloping away from the whole field. Reed, the only person who is anywhere near close to him, and he's not near enough to be a challenge. Through the chicane, the bus stop on the gas now. Reed, and look at the gap back to third place. Here comes Callum Ramsey. Well, it was Callum Ramsey. It's Damian Bailey. Number 18 has moved up into third place. Changes going on in the field behind the leaders. Reed doing well on a fairly ancient uh, Kawasaki. Oh, and did very well to hang on to it then. And that's given Wynn a little bit of breathing space. Oh, and look at Richard Wynn pick up that back wheel as he hammered the front brake coming into the hairpin there. Rides round the oil, through the chicane, and away he goes. Moves a foot in the field, oh, and very nearly moves a foot and off the bike in the rest of the field. And this Super Team Challenge, always we see this tremendous enthusiasm and combative, absolutely terrifying eager desire to get to the front number six jonathan peacock there fifth in the championship 50 points and you'll see occasionally these orange tabards the sign of the newcomers and there are a good few of them in this field the sign of the novice and this series specifically designed to encourage novices and younger riders and uh, fairly often you'll see a variety of interesting lines but all of these young men have been ta oh uh, rocky reed carrying the front wheel there all of these young men have been taken around this course by someone from the mcn superbike challenge itself bailey nearly unseats himself there in the hairpin and drops a couple of places they've all been taken around and all shown the good lines and now it's a question of remembering them and sticking to them. Some are better than others, but that's what this is all about. You're looking at the learning curve, which may yet produce Grand Prix stars of the future. Win dominant at the front then. And his confidence seems to grow with every round of this series. Oh, and once again, he seems to be able to do whatever he wants with this 400 Yamaha. Stands it on its nose on the brakes through the chicane. Closing with the traffic now, and perhaps a little bit of extra challenge there for him. Out onto the start, finish straight, and sweeping past. And the board goes out. He's on his final lap and the chequered flag must be his and an increased lead in this series must be his superb performance then from richard win behind him in second place rocky reed and in third place in third place was brian moffett but he's down well moffett down and walking away from it and that means that Jonathan Peacock goes up into third place number six John Peacock he was in fourth after a slow start but now takes his second rostrum of the year 
win on his way to the chequered flag, absolutely faultless. And you have to say that Reed behind him, with a fairly ancient piece of kit, has put in a strong ride as well. And there he is in the background taking his 23 points.